This is the Lenovo Legion Duel 2. Is this your next gaming smartphone? Hey guys, it's your Tagal Mary and welcome back to my channel. For today guys, I'm so excited ko dito sa gaming smartphone na to. Baka ma-trigger yung ating mga ROG fans dyan. But anyway, I'm sure naman may kanya-kanya silang pros and cons and design-wise, magkaibang-magkaiba naman din sila. To those who are not aware, itong gaming smartphone na to, this was launched last week here in the Philippines. The day that I'm filming it, I think it was 5 days ago, pero... The day that you guys are watching this, I think one week na. Before we talk about the pricing, let me tell you everything first that you need to know dito sa gaming smartphone na ito. Dual 2, meaning guys, ito na yung second iteration sa Dual series. It has the latest Snapdragon 888 and is available up to 16GB of RAM and 512GB of internal storage. Of course, as expected from a gaming smartphone. Kung mapapansin nyo, design-wise, medyo kamukha niya pa rin naman yung kanyang predecessor. But this year, Lenovo raised the back of the phone para makapag make room for an additional cooling fan. As well as Eight active triggers. Yes, guys, walo. Also, the device comes in two colors. Of course, yung white and the black one. We don't have the box. Wala tayong unboxing na magaganap dito because, disclaimer, this is their engineering unit. Meaning, we won't be able to do a camera test and an Antutu benchmark run. It would be unfair para sa Lenovo if we will be doing that. So, we will be sticking na lang guys on the hands-on or first impressions. By the way, ibig sabihin ng engineering unit, it's still the same naman on what you'll be getting on the retail unit. But some internals like of course, photos, Antutu score, and gaming capability, not as refined as you will get on a retail unit. Engineering unit, ito yung usually na mga pinapahiram sa mga tech vloggers katulad ko. Now, magkano naman yan? The Lenovo Legion Dual 2 is priced at 39,995 pesos for the 12 gig RAM na merong 256 gig of internal storage. Also available para sa kanyang higher variant and being priced at 49,995 pesos na again merong 16 gig of RAM with 512 gig of internal storage. You know why I'm excited? It feels like a new device. Lately, smartphone manufacturers, guys, kung mapapansin niyo, halos pare-parehas ang ating design language kahit na iba-ibang brand yan. But on this phone, yung kanyang innovation, very, very different sa ating modern smartphone market. For a day-to-day -day usage, itong smartphone na to, it does feel a little too much. And somewhat impractical na rin. It is very heavy and the display, guys, sobrang laki talaga niya. And yes, itong gaming smartphone na to, it really is made talaga more on the landscape gaming side. Why did I say that? Kung makikita nyo palang ergonomics niya, talagang masasabi nyo na sobrang perfect maglaro ng mga games dito na landscape ang format. And just like what I said earlier, marami nga siyang active triggers. Apat na ultrasonic shoulder triggers, dalawang capacitive buttons on the rear, and two pressure sensitive buttons on the screen. The device is also made with aluminum glass body and a very innovative design na talagang nagsa-stand out sa lahat. I'm pretty sure display is also very important sa mga gamers natin dyan. So, Mary, what are the specs? Meron tayong 144Hz of Full HD Plus display na merong 720Hz touch sampling rate. Ang kanyang display also supports HDR10 Plus and can get as bright as 1,300 nits of peak brightness. Ang kanyang display is also made of Corning Gorilla Glass 5. It's high enough naman for its price pero kasi Corning Gorilla Glass Victus naman ang ginamit it's a ROG phone. Five. The exact display size is 6.92 inches, guys. And kung gusto nyo ng very quick comparison sa isang regular smartphone, ito ang kanyang size beside the iPhone 12 Pro. And ito ang kanyang laki beside a regular Android device, katulad ng Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite. So yes, just like what I said earlier, it really is a pretty big phone that is not something that you can bring for every day at ibubulsa mo. Before we proceed doon sa kanyang RGB, gusto ko lang sabihin the exact weight is 259 grams. Which is actually, you might find it a bit heavy, pero again guys, it's a gaming smartphone. So for me, it really is acceptable. So yeah, it has twin turbo fan cooling system built into the Legion Phone Dual 2. This is to ensure that our phone won't overheat while you are playing games. Yung kanyang RGB 
LED light sa gitna is actually customizable. Depende kung paano nyo siya gusto umilaw. And kung mapapansin nyo, yung isang turbo fan niya ay nakalabas. And yes, it also lights up. Hindi lang basta-basta iilaw. It's RGB. Meron din tayong air vent sa kanyang bandang ibabaw at sa ilalim. And of course, the camera setup at the back na madalas for sure natin matatakpan. Kasi ako guys, madalas ko siyang matakpan. And malayuan, hindi mo nga manonotice na cameras pala yon sa likod. And you're probably wondering, Mary, where is the front camera? Yup! Ang ating front camera ay located sa side. But if landscape, it's on top. And actually, ang location ng ating power button is also on its motorized pop-up camera. Which is my first time to encounter on a smartphone. So yes, the selfie game is not that strong on the Legion 2. But again, that's not the purpose of this phone. But the streaming game, definitely strong. Bakit guys? Actually, hindi lang siya basta-basta for gaming but also for content creators who loves to do live streaming. Mapa Facebook, YouTube, or even Twitch. We have 64 megapixels for the regular main camera and 16 megapixels para sa kanyang ultra-wide camera. I won't be able to show you guys yung ating mga sample photos. Now, how about the front facing camera and that pops up. Actually guys, meron siyang 44 megapixels quality. Now for you guys to have an idea kung anong itsura niyang kanyang camera UI, of course we have the regular portrait mode. We also have the HD photo na kung saan pwede rin tayo mag-zoom. We also have a dedicated night mode. Meron din tayong video mode that can record up to 8K resolution. Para sa rear camera ito ha. And then for the more menu, meron tayong macro mode, Pro mode, panorama, slow motion, time lapse, director mode, HDR10+, and of course, sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, meron din siyang tinatawag na dual mode na kung saan we can record using both cameras. While gaming, you can swipe down and see yung iba pa niyang options like you can adjust yung turbo fan kung gusto niyo na pinakamalakas siya or gusto niyo na mahina lang para hindi siya masyadong maingay. Of course, the air triggers and the stream mode. For the stream mode, it's actually very customizable kasi pwede natin i-adjust and lagyan natin ng mga filters. And yes, dito sa drop down menu na to, makikita natin kung gaano ba kainat yung ating phone and we got to adjust the brightness, the sound, and of course, ang ating visual display. Other things that also matters in terms of, of course, gaming is yung kanyang audio. Papangunahan ko na kayo agad, wala siyang audio port. So meaning guys, you'll have to use a dongle kung gusto nyo siyang lagyan ng wired earphones. Meron din siyang dual firing speakers provided. And of course, since marami nga tayo mga fan ports, and since it has a pop-up camera, it has no any IP rating. Yung kanyang speakers guys ay hindi basta-basta. Meron siyang front firing speakers. Siyempre, it's a gaming phone so dapat nakatapat din sa atin ng kanyang speakers. It has no other competition in the industry but the ROG Phone 5 which is actually more expensive than this one. And this phone that we just mentioned and even this one is geared towards talaga to people who want some more immersive gaming experience. And of course, for this phone, a much lesser price. <music> It also has 5,500 mAh battery capacity with 90W dual wired fast charging capability. But if single port lang ang gagamitin natin, up to 65W of fast charging lang. So meaning guys, pwede natin pagsabayang i-charge itong device na ito gamit ang dalawang USB-C keyboard dahil dalawa ang kanyang USB-C ports. Grabe no guys, mas mabilis pang mag-charge ang smartphone na to kaysa sa mga ordinary laptops na meron tayo which is 65 watts. So ito lang naman yun guys, if gaming is not your focus, there are other phones that will offer you a nice gaming experience of course that is not as focused on gaming as this device. But if you want a more capable, a more innovative design, over-the-top aesthetics, and you want to stand out among the competition, this definitely is the one for you. So yeah, that's everything I guess that you need to know for the new Lenovo Legion Duel 
2. If ever guys na mabigyan ako ng chance for us to unbox the retail unit of this one, I'll definitely I'll definitely do an unboxing and of course a full review para sa inyo but a review right now is not again fair and I won't be able to tell you guys yung actual and real performance niya. So yeah, that's it guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. It's your Tackle Mary and see you on my next video. Bye!